major cost to this has been the cost in trust. When I found out he was at St. Mike's, I put a 12 gauge in my trunk. Trust in priests and in the institution church has been shattered. I had it planned out, premeditated in my mind. That we're going to be even. I'm going to settle the score. We need to change or we will disappear. Welcome back. A powerful new documentary airing tonight on City TV. It's an original called Veracity Unrepentant. And we spoke with journalist Adrian Gobriel recently on the show about this. And City News has been bringing you this exclusive investigation. It's been over a year in the making, and it's about an order of Catholic priests known as the Basilian Fathers. Their headquarters are in Toronto, uh, but they have staff and uh, support groups and followers all over Canada, all over the world, really. For more on this story and a preview of tonight's documentary, we're joined once again by Adrian Gobriel. Adrian, welcome back, and uh, just give our viewers a bit of a context of why this is such an important documentary that we're going to be seeing tonight on City, to City TV. Yeah, thanks so much for having us back, Thor. So, you know, tonight's documentary really uh, is is the culmination of more than a year of investigative work that we've been we've been doing as we've looked into the Basilian Fathers. As you mentioned, they're an order of Catholic priests. They have schools right across Canada. They still run schools to this day, not just Canada, but across the Americas. And we've uncovered hidden secret documents, documents that were ordered to be destroyed. And they detail and outline how they move priests through Catholic schools straight across the continent continent straight across the Americas uh, in our documentary. We also uh, we speak with insiders, we speak with Vatican officials, we speak with survivors. We hear some really raw, some really powerful stories of their assault and we hear of what they're pushing for now when we're looking at change within the Catholic Church here in Canada. And Adrian, just days before COVID-19 swept across Italy, you traveled to the Vatican with a group of people who said they were sexually assaulted by their priests. What was that experience like? As you can imagine, a really powerful experience standing in St. Peter's Square with all the opulence of the Roman Catholic faith around them, but also knowing what they've lived through, the childhood, childhoods that they had stolen from them. Uh, we traveled specifically with one woman who says she was sexually assaulted by her priest, a Basilian priest in Windsor, Ontario. She meets other survivors there. They go to Rome and they go to demand that their secret files, the files and cases that are on, uh, that are being kept secret about the abuse that they uh, that happened to them they want those files to be handed over they did they want them released to the world here's one survivor sean doherty who's with brenda brunel in rome this is what they had to say just moments before going to demand their documents be handed over when i was here for the vatican summit if you remember pope francis he said that we were nieces and nephews of satan yes he did he called us nieces and nieces and nephews of satan in public I'd like to see what they call us in private. He's on the phone right now. We need to talk to him. Adrian, this is really powerful stuff. And for the people that were on that trip with you and uh, reopening these old wounds, it must have been an incredibly emotional experience for them. Yeah, extremely emotional, Thor. You know, many people that we're going to hear from tonight in our documentary have never shared their story publicly. The amount of courage that it took for them to step forward and share their stories so that we can all have an understanding of what's happened. This is a story we believe is of national interest, international interest. In our doc, we also sit down with a Vatican insider. He traveled the world with Pope John Paul II for more than a decade. He shares what is happening inside the Vatican, how they've been handling child sexual assault historically. We also sit down with likely the most credible voice inside the Vatican today when it comes to child sexual assault. A priest, his name is Father Hans Zollner. He is Pope Francis's right-hand priest when it comes to the sexual assault file. We ask him some very pointed questions. And Adrian, just before we wrap, this has been an exhaustive, meticulous investigation from your crew at City News, and we're happy to bring it on City TV tonight. What has been the response so far to this investigation? The response has been massive. We, you know, we, leading up to tonight's documentary, which will be on at 10 p.m. on City TV in Vancouver, we've also been rolling out a multi-part, 11-part news series on City News. And so, as midway through our series, actually just a couple days ago, we got an email from the Basilians themselves, uh, uh, themselves apologizing more or less for how they've handled the sexual assault of children by Basilian priests. Now, I heard uh, from one survivor who said it's great that they're now apologizing to you, but why don't they pick up the phone and call us 
and apologize themselves. We as, we've also heard from other people who claim that they were sexually assaulted by their priest. This is not an easy topic. It's not an easy topic for people to wake up to on breakfast television, but it's such an important one, and that's why we're here speaking about it today. So many people believe that uh, they, when they were abused, that this only happened to them, that somehow they're to blame as a child, and so they live in silence for decades. And so now we're hearing people reach out to us, uh, come out of the darkness to share their stories, to try and get help. And really, that's what this is all about. If we can reach one person and let them know that they're not alone, that this didn't just happen to them, that they can seek justice, that they can seek some help, well, it makes it some of the most important work that I've ever done and my colleagues, uh, some of the most important work they've ever done as well. So we encourage everyone to tune in tonight at 10 p.m. Of course, yeah, difficult topic to handle, but an important one. Adrian, thank you so much again for your time. Thank you, Thor. Appreciate it. All right, that's City News reporter Adrian Goebel. And you can, Gobriel, and you can check out Veracity Unrepentant tonight on City TV at 10 p.m. And here's Mary 